Code 1, unresponsive pediatric, engine 54, medic 1154, 15435, west, 134th place, associates and family care. Taylor got sick um, Thursday evening, just had a fever and just kind of normal sickness, so we took her to the doctor on Friday for an ear infection, which um, she's had in the past. Um, the difference this time was that she wasn't really throwing up or anything, so it didn't seem um, too major. Got her on an antibiotic and thought things were gonna be good. And then Sunday morning, um, I was home with her and she um, just kinda started throwing up that morning, but typical kind of like flu symptoms. She couldn't sit and her eyes just rolled um, and kind of was in a seizure state and hyperventilating. Took off as quick as we could to um, Black Bob Urgent Care. Um, and she was in my lap the whole way there, and we just um, just kind of in a seizure state, um, but still breathing at that point. They, they put a mask on her right away and just had oxygen going to her. And and it seemed like maybe in like within five minutes, it was super quick, the paramedic showed up. One of the nurses came out and uh, she said, we've lost a pulse. And um, I just, I thought it was another kid, didn't think it was her. Um, but she was the only kid in the clinic. I had talked to someone that took us into the room and basically essentially told us that she was dead and they, they were working to get her back. And it's just one of those emotions that you're like, that happens to other people, not to us. At one point we saw him doing CPR on her and um, it was just scary. Then 10 minutes or so they got her pulse and her heartbeat and her breathing back. and. Um, and then from there, we went on to um, Olathe Med. There's really just not a Hallmark card, we keep saying, for um, a situation like this. Um, we visited the fire station, and she brought cupcakes and gave some hugs and kisses. Amazing group of guys. Um, we were just blessed to have two guys there that had, um, that had baby girls, or had three-year-olds or four-year-olds there. and, and they were super invested in it, just talking to them afterwards. And um, one of them was saying, okay, don't cry, don't cry. And, um, you know, you see these guys driving down the road and either the ambulance or the fire truck, and you just, it was nice to put um, just, a, just a face and a, a soul <laughs> with these guys that are there. And they're just amazing guys. We're still not sure how they got there this, that quickly. Um, and we just thank them for going right into um, action. Um, just really getting into place professionally and, and saving her. I mean, there's no, <laughs> I mean, it's just, thank you. <laughs>